And with the first game in the books for Arkansas State, we take a look at how some businesses fared on game day. Brian Kaleski spoke to a couple businesses about their experience. The game day experience is an incredible atmosphere for everyone involved, but for local businesses, it's a chance to support the Red Wolves as well as take advantage of the huge crowds. We are double staffed pretty much all day long, uh, making sure that we've got coverage to make sure we got plenty of seating outside. Anna Banks, the manager of J Towns in Jonesboro, said the restaurant tries to get extra business with the stadium close by. Lots of catering, so we're always pre-prepping our food like the night before to make sure that we can cover stadium uh, catering as well. So we're lots of extra work is put in every day. For Banks said many restaurants will have more flexible hours on game days too. So we open the same time, but usually, like especially on big uh, wins, we are staying open for as long as you want to come in. So I think last night, we usually close at 11. I think last night our last table came in at about 11.30. The businesses also try to match the energy and atmosphere on game day. It's a, it's a party. We got some live bands, usually before the game, after the game. Um, lots of tailgating, people in and out all day long. One of the unique things that they do at J-Towns is after the games, players get to come in and write the scores down on the schedule. They come on in, we cheer them on at the end of the game, and they write their scores up, and hopefully it's always a win. The Red Wolves got their first win of the season against UCA 34-31 to in spectacular fashion, and fans are hopeful that there are more wins to come this season. Reporting at Jonesboro, Bryant Koleski, K8 News.